Sister Wives Cody Brown gives sexy hair tips inside his shower. And Nevada National Guard pays tribute to Garrison Brown. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my 2S Gossip channel. A video of Cody Brown giving fans a hair care tutorial has surfaced on social media. The clip of the Sister Wives star was shared on Instagram and shows Cody goofing off as he walks viewers through his routine to maintain his sexy hair. Cody Brown is known for being the patriarch of the plural family. Shown on the TLC series Sister Wives. He has also become famous for his signature ramen noodle style curly hair. In a video that has surfaced on the web, the reality TV star walks fans through how he gets his hair to look the way it does and shares the products he uses on a regular basis. The beginning of the clip shows Cody sitting in the shower with a shirt on. He informs viewers that he is going to be sharing details on how he styles his hair and then begins to hold up various Moroccan oil products in front of the camera. Each of the bottles is teal in color and reads, Moroccan oil, on them. He clarifies that the video is not an advertisement for Moroccan oil before he continues. Viewers are informed that the first bottle shown is conditioner. Cody says that he rinses his conditioner out with cold water so that the product isn't completely stripped from his hair. After that, the TLC star says that he uses a Moroccan oil mouse, which he holds before the camera, and then he uses a curl control mouse to address how his hair is a bit on the thinner side. He says that he uses a volumizing product from the same company. And I always use curl defining cream. He wraps up the product list before diving into how he styles his curly locks. He shares that he then scrunched his hair with a towel before taking a blow drying tool to it. The post was shared on the 90 Day Fiance Addict's Instagram profile and it is unclear as to when the clip was originally filmed. Fans react to video in the midst of Garrison Brown's death. Several people took to the comment section to make jokes that Cody saw the need to tape a hair tutorial. Nobody needs a video to style three pieces of hair, one person commented, while another wrote, the content no one wanted. However, viewers are hoping that the video is dated, given what Cody Brown and his family have been through this week. News broke of his son, Garrison Brown's, death on. Tuesday and details regarding his passing have been extremely difficult for the family to deal with. A neighbor of Cody Brown alleged that Arizona's care team responded to a call at the TLC Stars residence on Thursday night. There was speculation about whether or not the cars in the driveway were actually care team vehicles. Fans also wondered who the call would be made for. The care unit typically responds to mental health and grief calls. Right now, TLC has not made a decision about whether or not the network will move forward with filming for Sister Wives in the midst of Garrison's death. The late Garrison Brown touched the lives of many people and not all of them were Sister Wives fans. The Nevada National Guard servicemen and women knew him as well, and they paid him a nice tribute on Friday. He was in the process of transferring to Arizona's Nation Guard when he passed away. Garrison Brown joined the National Guard. It's been more than seven years. Since TLC aired the discussion between Cody Brown, Janelle, and their son about wanting to join the military. Eventually, he decided on the National Guard. His half-brother, Peden also joined the National Guard. TLC fans saw that when her son came home from training, Janelle cried with joy, and Cody Brown felt very proud of him. Garrison Brown was the darling of his family and his fans, except that his father became estranged from him during the coronavirus. Still, that doesn't cancel out his military-loving son from the heart of his father. When he heard about the young man's death, he allegedly raced to his house. No doubt, there will be many regrets. However, he hopefully takes some comfort from the nice things that the National Guard soldiers said about his son. On March 8, the Nevada Army National Guard soldiers' Facebook page shared a long and special tribute in honor of Janelle and Cody's son. It also came with two photos of the young man who served his country, which you see further down in this article. Judging by what was said, he seemed like a respected and dedicated military man. Master Sergeant Christopher LaDuca said that they got to know the family. But, he added, Garrison's done everything you can do here for a guy who is combat arms, from gunner on a Bradley armored vehicle to dismount team leader. He was also a great listener. I have pictures of him in the back of classrooms taking notes. 
In the field, he was always tuned in and locked in for every piece of information. He never talked down to people or played the macho game. He spent most of his time just doing what was right. Capt. Elijah Armstrong, 1st Squadron, 221st Cavalry Maintenance Officer also had some nice things to say about Staff Sergeant. Robert Garrison Brown, he loved being in the military. He loved his family, he loved getting out into the field with his fellow soldiers, and he will be greatly missed. Sister Wives fans react. When the post arrived on a Reddit community about Sister Wives, the op shared a screenshot and said, TLC fans who joined in the discussion were very taken by the achievements of Garrison Brown. As viewers we have some insight to how precious of a soul he was, but it's so clear that he was absolutely treasured by all who were blessed to know him. This is really lovely, he was clearly well thought of among his peers. Ugly crying over this line. We have lost a beautiful soul. Such a tragedy. This is so sweet of them, but also makes me sad that Garrison's army brothers and sisters are hurting. Sweet Garrison, you will be so sorely missed. What a meaningful tribute. Someday when it isn't so raw I think this will bring so much comfort to the family. Sister Wives Patriarch Cody Brown lost his son, Garrison Brown this week. So probably, his Instagram is the last thing on his mind right now. Nonetheless, TLC critics think he should delete it. Actually, he didn't use it very much, but posted important events and announcements there. At the moment, there are only 12 posts. Lots of hate for Cody Brown. Sister Wives fans respect that the Brown family is in deep mourning over the loss of their son and sibling. Most of them posted about the tragic death. And, Garrison's dad did as well. He and his former second wife, Janelle shared a joint statement on their respective social media accounts. However, as comments were off, some TLC fans went to the previous one about separating from Mary and dragged Garrison's father there. While hating a man distressed by the death of his son seems terrible, many Sister Wives fans made very sweet gestures. For example, TLC fans called on the community of Reddit to stop trolling Cody Brown. Unfortunately, not everyone got the memo. But another gesture shows that many TLC fans care deeply. Because Garrison loved cats, a fundraiser saw plenty of donations go to the High Country Humane Shelter. Partly, because the TLC star so seldom uses his Instagram account, an OP on Reddit felt that he should delete it. After sharing a screenshot of the profile page, they wrote, I think it's time for Cody to delete his Insta. In the comments of the post, Sister Wives fans expressed that they noticed the profile bio hadn't changed despite no longer being married to four wives. Additionally, there was no change in the status of his 18 children. And others, seeing the hate on posts where comments could be made, didn't like that. Problematic bio aside, that entire top row is just his entire life falling apart. And it's weird to juxtapose it with his 25% off cameo deal. Time to close up shop, buddy. I was wondering the same thing, not to mention the comments are pretty rough. I'm not sure why he doesn't just delete the account. The comments are so harsh on both his and Robin's pages, their days must be so dark right now. Yikes. They are probably all contracted to have some sort of social media presence, even if they don't keep it current. Otherwise, I assume Robin and Cody would have deleted theirs ages ago. I've never actually looked at Cody's Instagram, just didn't care to bother, but his last three posts are just sharing his failures and loss. Sister Wives fans know this week has been incredibly difficult. Garrison Brown tragically took his own life on March 5, 2024. Now, the family is dealing with the loss in their own ways. While many members of the family are keeping to themselves, Mary Brown posted a lovely memorial to Garrison. Today, she followed up with another post. March 9th was her mother Bonnie's birthday. Mary hopes Bonnie was there to welcome Garrison to the afterlife. Mary's mother Bonnie Barber passed away on March 26, 2021. Fans who follow the TLC star on Instagram know that Mary often posts about her mother and remembers her fondly. Since March 9th was Bonnie's birthday, she was on her daughter's mind this week. This week has been full of an array of emotions, but I couldn't let this March 9th pass without acknowledging and celebrating my sweet mom on her birthday, 
Mary Brown wrote on Instagram. She added many kind words about her mother, and how much Bonnie loved all of the Brown children. Even though Leon was her only biological grandchild through Mary, she loved all of the kids equally. She loved every one of her grandkids, no matter how they came into her family. They were all hers, and all of our kids lovingly called her Grandma, Mary continued. I have a little more comfort this week knowing that she was likely on Garrison's welcoming committee, smiling that perfect smile at him and holding his sweet face in her loving hands. Keep an eye on our boy up there, Mom, and give him a hug for me. Of course, fans left plenty of encouraging comments for the family. Some Instagram users wrote, What a beautiful tribute. My heart is with the Browns. No, words. Only prayers. I'll bet she was there and I know he's home. Your mom is looking after Garrison and giving her grandson a hug for you all. Beautifully written. I hope we all have a welcoming committee like that. In wake of Garrison's death, many viewers called on TLC to cancel the show. However, it appears that the network continued filming the show, even as the Brown family mourns. Thanks for watching this video. What do you think about this video told on comment. Box and subscribe your channel.